Cobwebs and dust tell how long it is since anyone set foot in this university lecture hall. It's still and quiet except for the movement of the rotor blades of a few ceiling fans. Most of the students and lecturers have left and the buildings remain under lock and key. No one knows when the strike will end. Let us just hope it is not going to last for long. All academic activities are paralyzed. No teaching, no research, you see, no statutory meetings. And this are basically what keep university going. The library, with its few outdated books and journals, is the most populated area of the campus. Maybe because the internet connection here is free. For now, the lecturers are in no hurry to come back. They say they've tolerated government inaction for too long, and that is making matters worse for everyone. Our libraries have books that have been outdated. The laboratories do not have enough chemicals, reagents, and what have you could be used. In terms of manpower training and development, it was very poor. To such an extent that an average Nigerians now have now resorted to going to other countries that are even less than Nigeria in terms of capacity to go and seek for education. The industrial action traces its origin back to 2003 when government and lecturers agreed to increase funding to universities and pay a backlog of allowances as well as other demands. That agreement was not implemented and the academic community says it's had enough. The strike action is happening in 74 out of the over 100 public universities in Nigeria. Industrial action at Nigerian universities is a regular occurrence. Whether it's dispute over pay or research funding, the strikes can last for weeks or even months. The longest in recent memory was when the lecturers walked out for six months. Caught in the middle in the fight between government and university teachers are students from poor backgrounds. By an early next year, I should be rounding up my program. But as it is now, the strike has affected the school calendar. So my hope of graduating early next year is no longer there. Parents who can afford it send their children to more than 30 private universities here or abroad, some to neighboring countries like Niger and Bini Republic, which have even fewer resources. While the children of the poor who have no alternative continue to wait for an end to the strike, hoping it won't get to a point where an entire session is lost. Ahmed Idris, Al Jazeera, Sokoto, Nigeria.